Good morning. Happy Thursday. Nate's Live Talk coming at you. Got another um, another subscriber wrote in. Or someone wrote me. We're going to talk about some toxic relationship stuff today. I'm going to keep this person anonymous. Um, it's a guy. 29 year old male um, been dating someone for five years on again off again and he thinks his girl is a narcissist and he wants us to look into some of the things that have happened in his relationship she hasn't been very nice this is only his side of the story I am not taking sides um, I can only go based off the information given to me I'm not a doctor, therapist, any of it. I'm only speaking as someone that has experienced dysfunction in their life. Um, but what he wrote in is pretty bad. And some of it I can't even tell you. Because um, it's, uh, it's grown up stuff that I don't want to talk about on here. Of infidelity and other things that he believes are happening and he got proof of it and i will tell you part of the story right now please subscribe to nate's live talk if you haven't or uh, hit us up nate's live talk at yahoo.com or on instagram if you want to get in touch with me with anything like this so he's been dating this girl for five years on again off again throughout college and now they've been out of college for a few years he said when it's good it's good I mean, when it's good, it's great. When it's bad, it's awful. Uh, he said they both have faults, but he really believes she's a narcissist. Um, anytime he brings up the things she does that bother him and tries to communicate anything about the things she does that bother him, she flips out and says um, he thinks she's a bad girlfriend. And she generally gets physical physically and mentally um abusive um she leaves him then comes crawling back and then she's nice to him for about a month then she leaves him comes crawling back nice to him for about a month he said this has gone on the longest stretch they've had that this hasn't happened is two and a half months throughout five years there's no stability in your life, man. When you're always going through something like that. And believe it or not, you get addicted to that shit. You don't even know it, but it's probably something you guys need now. I would go to a therapist if I was you. Um, on your own. Not with her. Let's look longer. Um, most recently, she dumped him for not proposing to her on a trip. Did you tell her you were going to propose to her? That's supposed to be a surprise, man. I wouldn't tell her exactly when you were going to do it anyway. You could talk to her about the possibility of marriage and you'd like to marry her. But I wouldn't tell her where you're going to do it. You want to surprise a dude. You want to do it in a place that's special to you guys probably or to her. Don't. Why would you tell her that? I'm not trying to be harsh on you, but I wouldn't have told her. I won't. If and when I ever get married, I would not tell my partner when I was going to propose to her ahead of time. That's a no-no. Because you said give her expectations. That was stupid on your part. I got to keep it real. I don't think that was wise. And you know how she is, man. You know how she is. You knew that was going to be a problem. So I hope you didn't do it intentionally. You had a different place and idea. Well, then you should just do it when you when you want to do it. And when you do that, it's not about you. It's about her, man. You know, that shit's big to women. 
She said you, she says you're ugly, pathetic, and have a sorry ass life. Um, and it's her saying that has stuck with you your entire relationship ever since. Um, she told your family that you're not worthy of her, and she doesn't understand why she's even with you. What she sees in you, uh, why she ever fell in love with you. Oh, right there, there's your answer. Time to go, bro. And your family sits there and lets her talk like that? Why would... Your sister, at least, you said. And you said you developed anxiety, probably from the relationship. Um, and she thinks you're faking it. <laughs> of course you developed anxiety from it. You guys are she tells you she fucking doesn't want to be with you and you're ugly and all that shit. Of course you're gonna have anxiety. And you guys don't work through it. It's not because you people get mad and shit. I get it. People say things they don't mean. But you might want to stop believing what she's saying. She's been saying it for five years. And she told your sister she doesn't understand why she can't fall out of love with you. She's addicted to the dysfunction, dude. Love, being in love and loving someone are two different things. She's hooked to the, the she's hooked to it and you, you're hooked to it. You guys are getting fucking energy from this shit. You guys are getting supply. Especially her, it sounds like. You dumped her after that last one two months ago when she talked to your sister. Um, and now she's been threatening to do things to herself and um, if he doesn't take her back. That's emotional blackmail. That's fucked up. If she threatens to hurt herself, you call the police and call the ambulance. That's what I would do. Uh, you have to get out of this dysfunction with her. Or go to major therapy. I would cut the cord. I don't see this how this relationship works. And then you ran to her aid three days ago. And now she thinks you guys are together again. That was a bad move, dude. She did it to get you over there, obviously. You broke up with her two months ago. I don't know if you've talked to her here and there or not. You didn't say it, but... And then she threatens to do that to herself. And you run to her aid... Three days ago, when you wrote me. You wrote me about two days ago, so it's been about a week. Is she bipolar or have mental health? You never said anything about that either. She may. She may. You know, you got to know these things when you get in relationships, people. But if she's threatening to do stuff like that, she needs to get help. Badly. Do not involve yourself in it. Call the pro people. Call the first responders. Do not go over there trying to do stuff yourself. You don't know what you could be walking into. If she's stable, if she's not. If she's just doing it, do not insert yourself into that. Whatever dwelling she's in or wherever she's at, if she does that. When you, I went to rescue her, she went to the bathroom and her phone was left on the counter. And a message popped up from a guy. It said they met on Tinder two days ago and he couldn't wait to have another rendezvous and how great she was in bed. You guys were broken up, for whatever that's worth, but it's been two months. I don't know. that it's Each individual has their own take on that. I wouldn't be cool with it. She should have called him then, not you, if she was feeling that way. Maybe.
the one she was in the bathroom the message from a dude she hooked up with on tinder popped up of them trying to meet up again and it was two days ago so two days before she threatened that shit she was boning him yeah you got to get out of this dude this is highly dysfunctional i would leave i would cut all contact you, you can't deal with this shit it's gonna kill you it's gonna get ugly now there's other people involved in it you don't know who she's messing around with and shit one of them could get jealous you could get jealous I'm sorry you're going through this, man, but you don't have to go through it anymore if you just cut it out of your life. Making me sick. Said you played it cool and left, acting like nothing happened and waiting to make your next move. And that's how you left it. And you asked what I would do. I would leave. I would not put up with it anymore. You're almost 30 years old, dude. You're not that old. You can rebuild your life. It's never too late to rebuild your life. Um, you don't want to deal with this the rest of your life. I mean, if it was me, I would hang it up. I would not deal with this relationship in her. I would tell her, I would try to pot on good ways, whether it's writing a letter. Um, it's not. She's not going to let you end it in a good way, I don't think. You might have to get a restraining order at some point. Um, just till she's level-headed enough. Doesn't sound like she's in a good place. Doesn't sound like you are either. This whole relationship sounds bad. And um, even in toxic like relationships, you guys still you still can have an emotional attachment. And you guys have good memories as well, I'm sure. It wasn't all bad. You said she was the best when she was good. Um, it sounds like she gaslights you. Um, and I'm sure you play off it too. It's impossible not to. You two are trauma bonded from the fucking dysfunction. And you guys, it didn't say anything in your letter about either of your lives or in your email. It didn't say anything about your, your, your either of your guys' lives, but. I'm sure you guys experience trauma. Everyone has. Um, it sounds like this relationship has seriously affected your anxiety and your self-esteem. And uh, I know change, it can be really scary as an addict and as someone that struggled with dysfunctional shit and people. And change can be really scary. But this relationship sounds scarier than change. This sounds much scarier than change. And it sounds like she's being manipulative now. And she has been. And now she's sleeping with other dudes and shit. Buddy, go, go hit the gym. Get a good fucking playlist. I say this before. Go find some hobbies. There's plenty of fish in the sea. You know, is enough, when is enough enough for you? You know, and it hasn't changed, you said. She gets cool for a month, and then it's back to the same shit. The cycle, just like I say, rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. She's probably had some major trauma. I, I'm willing to bet. Um... And it's your fault if you continue to allow it. And if you're not done with the relationship, then you're going to get what you're going to get. Nothing will help if you stay in this. Maybe therapy, but I don't like to be negative. But I think this relationship has run its course. And now she fucking... Even though you guys are broken up, you're going to have in the back of your mind that she was messing around on Tinder. And then right before she called you to come save, save her. Um, you got to be a million percent done. You got to get me done with this. There's nothing, nothing will help you unless you're done with this relationship. 
or God saves this relationship or therapy. But well, you must be exhausted. It's I'm exhausted just reading it. And when I was writing down notes and there's a lot of this I couldn't put out because it's ugly. Um, learn to say no. No to yourself when you want to go back to her. Um, try and break up with or tell her you don't want to bother with her. And um, let her down easy if possible. I don't think that's going to work. Um, if she threatens to do anything to herself, call first responders. Um, and call first responders and don't talk to her. Don't. Go no contact. And if you, I would, if I was you, I would get busy. Don't date anyone for a while, or quite a while. Work on yourself for a, at least a year, I would say. Get busy. Get in the gym. You got to find healthy outlets. Because once you leave relationships like this and dysfunction, you're going to be wanting it still, even though you don't want it. You don't want it in your life, but you're, you're so fucking used to it. So you've got to find a way to not go back. You've got to stay busy. But don't stay busy dating. Don't. Don't date anyone right now. Don't. That, do not. You are not ready for it. Um, and you got to keep telling yourself you're not going back. Do not go back to this. I would not go back to this. You asked me what you would do. I told you. Um, I would not go back to it. I've had some screwed up relationships. Um, I would not go back to it. I would not go back to it, bud. It's not going to work, I don't think. I'm just being real with you. I'm just being real with you. I'm at a loss for words. I don't I don't see it changing. I'm sorry. If you or anyone else is going through anything or would like a story told about anything, if you think you have something interesting to talk about, Hit me up at Nate's Live Talk at Yahoo.com or Nate's Live Talk at Instagram. Thank you all for the support. These videos are tough for me to do. I have a couple more emails I can do more on. I don't like doing them all the time. There's uh, a website, I mean, a, a YouTube channel, Societal Narcissism. Ollie Matthews helped me greatly. Check him out. Um, helped me a lot. Getting out of dysfunctional stuff in my life. And it wouldn't be right if I didn't shout him out. Um, that's all I have for you guys. These are heavy for me. And I got to be careful how I do them because I'm not a professional. Um, and, but I like to help people. And it's I don't know if it's advice. I don't like really giving advice. But... If it was me, that's what I would do based on what you told me. Only uh, All I can go off is what you told me. Hopefully it's true. Um, but 10 seconds, think of a song. Too late, too late, too late, too late for love, too late. Too late, too late, too late for love. Death Leopard, too late for love. I'm going to have to love and leave you guys. Thank you for all your support. To the person that wrote the letter, it might be too late. It's weird that song came into my head. Thanks for tolerating my awful singing. Thanks for tolerating my videos. I hope you guys like them. I hope this video helps the person that wrote. And anyone else that may be in a toxic relationship. Have a great Thursday. I will see you guys tomorrow. I love you guys. Thank you for all the support. Peace.